I'm excited to be here. Y'all excited? Yeah. Is this good? Yeah. Those who show up early get the most value, by the way. Right? So those that are going to miss out on this talk, just know the ones that are here right now, I'm going to give so much to you. Put your credit cards away. I have no desire to sell you anything but to give and give abundantly. Is that all right? Is that okay if I just yeah. give abundantly to you? Great? Cool. With that being said, today's topic is how to be debt free and run a business effectively long term. By the way, I'm not qualified to talk on any of those things. Miss uh, Dr. Mandy in the back came up with the title or her team, so I'm blessed, I'm honored, it's a privilege to be here in front of you. What I do know is that when God calls you, you may not always be qualified, but since he called you, you're automatically what? Qualified, oh dear, is that cool? So I am in a season of my appointed role. Some of you in here might be in the season where you just got called. Has anyone just received their calling this year, maybe last year, maybe during COVID? Anyone like received their calling? You had your hand raised. What is your calling? To teach, about sexual teach about sexual purity. Wow. When did you discover that calling? When, when did God like, boom? When I started to write my book. What year? The book came out last year. Last year? Beautiful. And your name is? Carlisle. Carlisle. Shout out to Carlisle for sharing. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Yes. So there's the season of calling. And then I'm pretty sure as soon as you were called, there's a season of disappointing. Is that true? <laughs> there is the season where you are going to face disappointment after disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. It's part of the process. So after you have gone through that process and you might be there a while, okay, let me tell you my personal journey, all right? Reminding you again, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. I talk about debt, I talk about becoming debt free, I talk about your personal finances. One of the biggest things that I'm a fan of, if you get nothing out of this talk, get this right here. Please know your numbers, please. Whatever investment you come across during this conference, during this expo, whatever opportunity presents itself, whatever investment opportunity, personal development opportunity, spiritual opportunity, you need to sit and calculate the cost. Next slide, please. Right, know your numbers. Extremely important. Okay, so stay on that slide, because that's good. I just wanna have that up there for a while. By the way, my give is if you want my slides, Come to my table, grab my card. You can email me directly. I'm happy to give you this slide. Shout out to my fiance. Where you at? Because it's like, okay, boom, right there. <laughs> Shout out to my fiance here. She designed these slides. So y'all give her a round of applause for the work that she's doing. Shout out to my mom as well. That's where my calling originated from was my mother. My very first client was my mom. It took me two and a half years to convince her of all the personal financial wisdom that I was receiving from the Father in heaven, implanted and programmed into my brain, two and a half years. Then from there, it was about another year or so of work, right, to get out of debt, to become completely debt-free. I can honestly say that she became debt-free. She became debt-leveraged, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit about that. Becoming, not only just becoming debt-free, but also, how do we leverage debt? How do we master debt? How do we master money so that it doesn't master us? You know, oftentimes we're taught to avoid debt like the plague. We're taught to, you know, debt is extremely bad, debt is evil. I've never seen anywhere in scripture where it told me that this is evil, okay? It does inform us that if you are in bondage to it, that is not a good position to be in. But what if you can become the lender unto many nations. Does it not say that somewhere in the scripture? To my pastors and ministers in here, does it not talk about how you can lend to many nations, right? How we can be in the world, helping the worldly folks get their money together and operate. And we can be an example here in the kingdom jurisdiction of our father, in the ecclesiastical sovereign jurisdiction that we operate here where we can be in the world, not of it. 
we can help those and we can be an example, right? We can multiply, not just grow, right? So how to be debt free and how to run a business effectively long term. Full transparency, I'm 27 years old. I've been running a business for five years, successfully profitable every single year and been able to generate over seven figures so far, right? Those are just accolades. These are not important. These are just me sharing with you my personal journey. Then again, I'm letting you know, not an expert, by no means not a guru, although may, people may call me an expert, a guru, whatever that may be, that's totally fine. I wanna be known as a servant of God and unto the Lord Jesus Christ. That's all you get. That's my gift. I run a ministry called Finance Geek Ministry. It's a fully self-sustaining, debt-free ministry of finance. There's a lot of ministries out there for the homeless. There's ministries for uh, single moms. There's ministries for men. There's ministries for uh, youth, right? Has anybody ever heard of a ministry of finance before? That's not too common in the, in the kingdom churchianity realm that we live in, right? Not too common. Well, my desire is to collaborate with pastors, preachers, ministers, leaders, AKA people in this room and those outside of this room. And I believe we're live streaming. Is there a camera? I believe, are we live streaming to Facebook? Let me get a little up, down, are we live? I think we're live if I'm not mistaken. So those who are catching the recording, those who are leaders, or you desire to become a leader and you are in the kingdom, okay? We have got to build kingdom financial structures so that we can do the ministry work that we wanna be able to do. Anything you wanna do in life, it's gonna cost some money. Anything you wanna do big in this life is gonna cost a lot of money. So how do we generate cash flow vehicles, right? How do we eliminate expenses and burdens such as interest costs from your debt so that you can be an abundant, cheerful giver? Amen? All right, we about that life? Okay, cool. So next slide, if you can. There's a strategy that I teach, okay? It's called velocity banking, right? I'm gonna share with you the four most popular ways of eliminating debt. So if you're taking notes on your phone or uh, pen and paper, jot these down, you may or may not be familiar with it, right? I don't know you yet. So if you know, yeah, I know, right? Cool, if you don't, there's another give. So the most common one is debt snowball. Raise your hand if you're familiar with debt snowball. Not familiar with debt snowball, raise your hand. Cool, awesome. It's the most simplest, logistical, like simple. Just simply means whatever money I have left over at the end of every month, I apply that extra cash flow towards my smallest debt. If my desire is to become debt free, is, is it your desire in this room? Anyone in here to become debt free? Yes, 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 cool. So that means the people who didn't raise their hand, you're completely debt free or are you debt leveraged? because I know there might be some people in here who like that lifestyle, right? Or you don't wanna participate, I get it. Listen, I know the numbers, right? Majority of Americans are suffering in debt. So you don't have to lie to me, you're lying to yourself. Plus, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the person behind you, right? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the person behind you. The person literally behind you that's giving you a lie identity about your life, the person in your mind that has programmed you to be less, to think small, right? To be a slave to debt, right? There's that person in us. By the way, whether you believe it or not, I personally believe that's Satan's influence over your life, the devil's influence over your life, or the societal hypnotic system programming you through the tell lie vision. Your television, it's telling you a lie in the form of a vision, tell lie vision, programming you to think small, be small, speak only when spoken to, right? Stay, uh, avoid debt like the plague, right? All these different things. Save money over here with Joe Schmo. Hope and pray you get a rate of return and then maybe you'll retire. I can honestly say after working with thousands of people across the United States of all different cultures, I have not met a single 59 and a half year old above 59 and a half or older that has retired and has enough money left over at the end of the month, at the end of the year, they're basically blowing, you know, basically getting through. So I said, hmm, 
Maybe that's because they're operating in the wrong jurisdiction. Maybe. You see, there's the kingdom jurisdiction where it's abundant, there's no disease, there's absolute freedom here, absolute abundance, full confidence and authority. And then there's the world, okay? The world, this is where Satan lives, has influence over. My goal is to help you master all of the tools here. Whether you like it or not, as believers, we have, we have to influence the kings and queens of the nations. We have to get embedded into their system so that we can show them something better, right? So we must know, be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. Know their systems. Know how the rules operate of their jurisdiction. Whether we like it or not, we live on the United States jurisdiction, right? If you did not know, all money is debt. All money is debt, right? So this strategy called velocity banking actually derives from Australia, right? A gentleman by the name of Harj Gill, you can look him up, H-A-R-J and then G-I-L-L. -L. Nice Indian dude. I immediately knew, I'm like, yeah, Indians, they know math when it comes to this stuff. They know the math, right? So I'm like, okay, great, cool. Then, me personally, I discovered velocity banking from the Mormons. And I already knew, yep, the Mormons. I may not agree with them religiously, okay? <laughs> but they know about principles. They know how to build systems and structures to self-sustain their religion, to self-sustain the work that they do. So that's where I discovered it from, the Mormons, right? They've been doing this, they leverage, they multiply debt to offset interest costs by generating cash flow through assets. Now, that sounds confusing. Even to me, as I say it, it still sounds confusing. So what I had to do for myself was say, okay, how can I start in my own personal economy first with my own numbers? And that has to do, we have to know your numbers first, right? Extremely important. We start there, right? In terms of how do I become debt-free and run a business effectively? When I say business, right, a lot of us, you know, think, oh, I can't have a business because that's, you know, that, that's, you know, corporations and staff and things like that. But may I submit to you that your body, your entity, your spiritual being is a business. In fact, if you look at your driver's license, right, if you pull out your driver's license, you pull out your passport, right, your social security, guess what? Your name is in all capital letters. Is that how you write your name? No, right? You don't write your name in all capital letters. So why do they? Guess what? Because God is so real, right? This is what's interesting. Because God is so real, he has a jurisdiction, okay? His jurisdiction is over your life and over everything, over the planet, over the universe, over everything. So guess what? The United States, Australia, Canada, every country on this planet has to establish your body as a business entity, a corporation, so that it has the authority to charge you tax, to tax you money, to, to take your money. If you are operating under the kingdom jurisdiction, right, and pastors and ministers are aware of this, when you're operating under certain jurisdiction, we don't pay tax. That's 36 plus percent of your income. If I can help you reduce your tax liability, you're going to pay off debt extremely fast. That's one third of your income. The other third of your income is interest costs. That's you owing the man. That's you owing the institutions money. Did you know that over $600,000 of your earnings, right? People in this room, the average American, are we all Americans in here? Are we all citizens of the United States living in America? Yes, yes. Okay, guess what? Over your lifetime, you will likely pay over $600,000 in interest costs. That is a fact. The majority of it's coming from your mortgage, which is a death pledge, by the way, if you didn't know what that meant, right? So there's a way for us to leverage, right? Offset interest, multiply, replenish, subdue, have dominion so that we can be effective, fruitful givers on this planet. Next slide. So I, if you are looking at the definition, that's the hard definition. This is a simplified definition of velocity banking. Literally, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. 
understand that? How do we borrow from Peter to pay Paul where Peter charges me zero interest to pay Paul off? Paul is your student loans, your mortgage, your car loans, your credit cards, your high interest debt, right? If I could borrow at zero percent and I know my numbers and I know how to operate my finances effectively and efficiently, that's step one. We gotta know your numbers first, right? And I usually start people off with debt snowball, right? And I was gonna say there's four popular methods, debt snowball, debt avalanche, okay? Debt avalanche is just taking the highest interest debt that you have and attacking that, okay? Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Working with someone like me, we run the math, we say, hey, this makes more sense, right? Just no emotion, this is what the math says, clear? Cash flow index, if you're taking notes, cash flow index formula is the next most popular way to pay off debt, quite efficient. And essentially all you're doing with cash flow index is you're taking the balance owed, so if you're taking notes, balance owed divided by monthly minimum payment. You're gonna get a number. The closer that number is to zero, that's the debt that you eliminate. The higher the number is, which is usually a mortgage, you're gonna, that's usually the last debt that we pay off is usually the mortgage, right? And then you have velocity banking. Velocity banking incorporates all three, right? It's looking at cash flow first. How do we recover as much cash flow as humanly possible back into your kingdom economy so that you can operate more efficiently? Make sense, right? A third of it is taxes, a third of it is interest costs. That's, that's your life, interest and taxes. That's the majority of your life, and then you have to live off the rest, all right? So, velocity banking, taking notes, cash flow first, interest savings second, balance third, right? The amount that's owed, right? So an example would, would sometimes be, okay, if I have a car loan at $10,000 and it's costing me $500 a month, but the interest rate is 0% versus a credit card over here that's at, you know, maybe $7,000 and the payment's $250 at 31%, right? Velocity banking would inform me to, to attack that cash flow and the interest savings versus the car, right, that's at the lower interest cost, literally say zero, right, or maybe 1%, lower costs. So we're being very, very strategic in terms of what we hit, what we don't hit, and that's what Velocity Banking is all about. Next slide. These are the rules, you can take a photo. I'm not gonna go through all of it because I don't wanna lose you, okay? So take photos. As you're taking photos, everybody pull out your phone. So far, would you say I've been giving value so far? Yes. You agree, giving value, great. I'm gonna ask a favor, I'm gonna ask that you open up your phones and you go to YouTube. This is the action step. Open up your phones, you go to YouTube and you type in Denzel, D-E-N-Z-E-L, Rodriguez. And you'll see this pretty face, okay? You might see Denzel Washington. I do, I do have to compete with him, right? He's in his lane, I'm over here. He the actor, I'm the finance guy, right? Denzel Rodriguez, YouTube. When you get there, let me know, raise your hand, I'm there, great, cool, 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 we're, we're there, awesome. I'm not even gonna ask you to subscribe, I'm not even gonna ask you to like. I'm gonna ask you to do your due diligence on everything I'm saying here. Just because I have been authorized through Dr. Mandy's authority to put me on this stage does not mean you should automatically trust me. And this is something that the Hispanic and black community will struggle with consistently and happens in our own, to, our, to ourselves. We do it to ourselves, our own people, right? We mess ourselves up by getting into scams, by getting into terrible things because we're desperate to change our financial picture. So when someone presents to us how we can accelerate debt and pay off this money and hey, in debt free in less than five years and all this stuff, like that's kind of how I sound giving you, you know, all this magic and all this wonderful things that I'm saying, please do your due diligence on me, right? This, uh, for the pastors and ministers in here, what was that culture that when they heard Paul speak, 
they would, they would verify the word. Say again. The Bereans. I'm saying that right? The Bereans. They studied. They didn't just take Paul at, you know, what he just, they went back into the word and they said, okay, okay, okay. Yep. Verified. We need to do that as a community. Hispanics and blacks, we're at the lowest in terms of how we rotate money. How am I doing on time? One, two minutes? Two minutes? Okay, cool. So action steps, please do your due diligence on myself. Again, if you want my slides, right, just go through the next slide so that you're taking photos, right? Those are rules. You can take a photo of that, right? This is just showing you how the concept works. All right, again, I'm not gonna like throw you off because this could be, this took me two years just to fully comprehend. And then the last five years I've been teaching it, mastering it, right? When I practice something, I practice until I can't get it wrong. I don't just practice till I get it right. And if I wanna run in a business effectively in the 21st century today, I need to practice one component and get extremely good at that thing, right? Until I can't get it wrong. So that when I'm presented in other opportunities, other people that influence me, even including me, I'm putting myself in the hot seat. There is an influence that I have over people, right? And I'm very careful with how I use that influence. And I'm telling you, do your due diligence. Do not trust anything that comes out of my mouth until you've done the research, right? Next slide. That talks about the cost, how to offset, how we actually put it together. And essentially all we're doing is leveraging banking products that the banks gave us to put us in debt, now we're gonna use it to our advantage, right? Same products at the banks to, to pay off their products so we can keep more of the money that we make, reduce our tax liability, build a business, the business of you, the business of you, so that you can be an abundant, cheerful giver. Next slide. Done, done, right? That's where you can find me. Do your homework, do your research. My name is Denzel Rodriguez again, not Washington, not Daniel. It's been a pleasure to just talk to you for a few minutes. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.